you're one of the people in the world that's probably spent more time at visually on a telescope than anyone I know. You know, so I've I've spent I've spent I, I mean love doing it. How many thousand hours of observing? I can tell you this, and I mean I'm not trying to be boastful, but I can say that there are a lot of people who are smarter than me. Mm. But nobody who is more passionate about what he's doing than I am. So how many hours do you think you have visual observing? For comet hunting? Yeah. I don't know. It's about, I think the total is about 600 since my last comet. 600? Since 2006. And it took me 917 hours and 28 minutes approximately. <laughs> or 15 seconds. <laughs> to find my first comet. <laughs> Wow. And then uh, it then went sharply down for a while, and there were a couple of them were coming after 100 hours. It was one after 87 hours, one after 104. Oh my goodness! Wow. But now it's now it's uh, very rare, uh -huh. and it's my own damn fault, you know, Scott. Because after SL9, they really ramped up these uh, modern. Yeah, you shouldn't projects. have discovered Shoemaker Levy nine. You know, should have just kept it quiet. <laughs> Oh, but that amazing. really accelerated. Oh know, yeah, effort. interest in it and everything. Well, no one had seen uh, a comet impact anything before. SL9 is not famous for what it was. It was famous for what it did. Mm -hmm. And it was... Uh, so the number of people that I've talked to said I got into astronomy after looking at your impacts. Oh really? Because that was so thrilling. Yeah. To You've see the solar system... And something changing right away. <laughs> the solar system changing right before our eyes. Yeah. On the time span of CNN, yeah, uh, <clears throat> mm -hmm. and changes that Jupiter is still undergoing, right? Twenty-five years later, twenty years later, right.